Hey, Coach, what was for David? What was the biggest difference in the second half, and how big was he for you guys? Oh, he was huge. He 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 did great the second half. He, as poor as he was to start the game, he was that good to to start the second half. Uh, uh, you know, I was proud of him. I thought he did some good things. I thought defensively, other than a couple of plays, he I thought his ball screen defense was better. Uh, uh, we didn't do much to help him behind. Uh, uh, behind the initial ball screen defense early, but but I, I thought he did great. Uh, uh, you know, it's just, we we got to figure out a way to make those uncontested easy baskets early in the game. But you know, to, to play that poorly offensively uh, to start the game, and you look up and we're down three uh, or whatever. I thought that was a that was a big improvement. And then we kind of guarded the first half, and the second half we probably didn't guard as well, but the lid came off and. We shot the ball a lot better, but I, I thought David did. I thought he did really well. Do you have any idea how it how it can flip so quickly for a guy like that? I mean, you know, to, to struggle I, I, in the first. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I, I think I think it was a it's it it was easier for him to flip it than it would be most players because he had a big size advantage, and we knew that that's what we wanted to do was throw it to him. So he had opportunities to flip it. Where I think sometimes guards, it's harder to. To get it flipped, if 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 you don't get as many easy touches as what he had, but uh, yeah, I, I was I was happy and and proud of him. I, I uh, uh, we got to figure out, and and you guys know this every bit as well as I do, but we got to figure out uh, uh, how to play better early. I mean, that's uh, we had an opportunity. I I told our guys, you know, we're up three. We should have been up 12, 12 at halftime. You know, uh, now they could probably say the same thing with some of the screw ups they had, but. I mean, you talk about unforced errors and, and, you know, they stole the ball from us a few times, but it was more from, uh, from us just throwing it to them rather than, than them pressuring us. And, and, uh, but there was, there were some good things. And for a team that was really pressing and playing tight and as much as you say, play loose and everything, it's easier said than done. So sometimes you just got to embrace it. Say, okay, if we're going to be tight, let's just guard the heck out of people and, and uh, don't worry about offense and, we had some goals that we wanted to do defensively and and uh, we matched those goals and and so the offense wasn't quite as uh, a big a factor or, or it didn't st stand out as much uh, on us being inefficient because we did guard and we did rebound on the other end what were the goals that's just with that, that that's between our team but but uh, but we we did we talked about it and had some goals and and uh, I think the guys uh I'll have to watch this watch tape but I, th I think it's they 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 uh they met those without question tonight other than a handful uh you know those couple tags early on the on the rolls how did you think you guys executed on that on the defensive end I thought I thought to be honest the first half I didn't think we were very good at all uh it's not as complicated as what we made it and you know, you, you got so much respect for Cade, so we tried to trap him off ball screens and actually did a good job and kept him out of the paint. And, you know, and when Marcus was guarding him and we were doing that, then he really didn't shoot many shots behind the ball screen. So he obviously did when Marcus wasn't switched up on him, but when I mean, somebody else was switched up on him. But I thought our ball screen defense after the first five minutes was pretty good. Bill, what did you think of Cade's performance? And did you hear the students chant, yeah, I, I love our student body, and I think that we have a ridiculously bright student body and average ACT score maybe 31. I don't know, but that's one area that, that that I don't think that they probably scored well because that kid is not overrated. That kid is good. and and uh, But, you know, it's just kids being kids. But, uh, yeah, he's really good, and he makes others better, and he makes the game easier for everybody else. Coach, you've talked about Marcus doesn't care if he scores. He's said that too. We've heard him say that a lot. What What, what is his role for your team right now? Because it looks like sometimes you need him to score, um, at least in, in spurts. Well, they played, they, they gapped the zone. So we had to get the ball to high post, and that's how he sure. scored the majority of the points. And, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, when, when you have to be the guy to pass it, it's hard to be the guy to catch it sometimes. And, and I thought that we did a pretty good job uh, in the, in the, in the, four or five or six possessions we got in the ball off the high post of other people feeding it to him and, and playing behind that. So, uh, you know, he, he should have scored the ball the first half because that was what he does. And he got the ball to his spots and, and that's where he's at his best. But, but uh, uh, I thought he defended, I, I thought if it wasn't for Marcus in the first half, I mean, we, we couldn't, 
that's why I told our guys, I mean, we, you know, we, we really didn't have any individuals play particularly well, except for him in the first half. We're still up three. So if we can get, you know, three or four more guys joining him, then, you know, we have a chance to, to look pretty good the second half. And that's what happened. Hey, Coach, do you think player points and stats matter right now? Or is everyone literally just playing to win? Uh, I don't think they – well, first of all, I'm, I'm a guy that has never put any emphasis on that anyway uh, at all. Uh, so, so, you know, even though bigs need to get points and rebounds, uh, they do that. Uh, I could care less about assist as far as numbers because there's, you're making the right play, and sometimes the right play doesn't lead to an assist. But, but uh, 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 I've never been one to worry about shooting percentages. But, but I, I, I'll be honest with you. Guys should be playing to win. And if they're worried about individual stats, and are, are, uh, those are very selfish thoughts. And so uh, I certainly hope that's not the case. And I thought, I thought even though we passed it very poorly tonight, I, I didn't think we played selfish by any stretch. Hey, Bill, what? Bill, what's the significance of these next two games against Iowa State? Yeah, I think it's probably the two biggest games on our schedule. You know, uh, uh, you know, thus far, without question, you know, we we we, you know, we're seven and five in the league, and second place is what seven and four or six and three. So we're we're not out of second place by any stretch. But you you, you got to play well from this point forward. We got uh, seven and five, so we got six games left. And, and uh, these are important games. I've never played a back-to-back -back deal before. So, you know, obviously, you know, there'll be a few minor adjustments for the second game, I would think. But, but uh, this is, this is as, as big as it gets for us this year uh, uh, to determine if we have a chance to, you know, finish second in our league, which, you know, that's a, that's a realistic goal. Uh, uh, but certainly we got to play well against everybody moving forward. And, and certainly, we, you know, can't stub our – our, our toe at home, but I, I, uh, uh, um, there it's big, it's big for us. So we got to take care of business and, and, uh, and be focused and ready to play. I, I think tonight did wonders for us from a, from a confidence and kind of getting the, the, uh, the monkey off our back, so to speak though. Hey, Dave seems like really a, a team first guy, but is he beginning to see he can maybe put the team on his back a little bit for stretches? Well, first of all, that is a team first guy. Yeah. Uh, 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 I don't think that, it, you know, uh, I don't think anybody that scores a lot of points or whatever, that does not mean any way, shape or form. They're not a team first guy. And, and uh, you know, the team first guys are doing what's best for the team. And, and what's best for the team is, is David, you know, looking to score and us playing through him. So, uh, although I, I, you know, he was very poor the first half, but the second half he showed us during a, what was it about a six or eight minute stretch that he was the best well, I would say the probably not the best player in the game, but he was certainly the second best player in the game. Uh, 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 I thought for the vast majority of the second half. Anything else for coach? Yeah. So, did ahead. you have to mention not being ranked to the team? Marcus said it, it was something they wanted to win. You know, the day they weren't ranked, but it he didn't make it sound like it was a real big deal. I mean, I, I got to be honest with you, Gary. I, I never mentioned to the guys about not being ranked. So uh, maybe they talked amongst themselves or coach, other coaches mentioned to them, but I didn't say one thing about not being ranked today. Uh, uh, we, don't, we don't deserve to be ranked. Now, we would deserve to be ranked if we play well from this point forward, but I didn't say one thing about it. Uh, I also say that of our seven losses, all of them are ranked. Uh, uh, so, you know, it's, it's been a hard schedule uh, without question, but, but – uh, uh, but that that was good tonight to get a tier one win and and at least I believe it's a tier one win. I, I haven't seen the latest net, but uh, uh, but I, I didn't make a big deal of it. You know, uh, uh, when you stop and think about it though, and, and you think about all the great programs out there that have had great runs. I mean, great runs, and everybody talks about how successful that program is and anything. But to think that nobody in the history of basketball has ever been as consistent or done what our guys have done uh, over a course of uh, 11 years. It's, it's unbelievable, or almost 12 years, if I'm not mistaken. It's unbelievable, and it's a credit to all the players and so many good ones. So the fact that it's a big deal that we're not ranked uh, uh, is something I don't like, but it's also pretty cool because there's nobody else that's ever, you know, no school that's ever done what we've done from a consistency standpoint as far as being in the game. Uh, uh, year in and year out like this team has.
Bill, like this program has, not this team. Hey, Marcus is free throw shooting this year. It's up more than 20 percentage points. What do you attribute that to? Uh, Scott, he's, you know, he's practices them. Uh, uh, I think he's a better shooter than he was last year. I, I don't know that I would attribute anything specifically other than the fact that, that maybe concentration is a little better or whatnot. But I, you know, I, that's a question that I can't answer. You know, I, 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 I can't, I can't answer that. Yeah, well, maybe maybe this will be a little better. Do you have a guy in mind, maybe, who's made the biggest jump in terms of as a free throw shooter under you? Anyone that sticks out like that? I, th I think that uh, Udoka had the biggest opportunity to make a huge jump. Uh, so that would be probably my answer on that. So uh, I, I, I'm sure there has been, uh, but I, I, I don't. What what is he shooting close to 80? He's over 80, 83, I think. Yeah, for the year. What's he in league? I think league may be just as good or better. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. But 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 the you know the bottom line is as good as he shot it, I think David's actually shot it better in league than than what Marcus has. So we've had some guys, you know, CB shot the ball the best of anybody in league play, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's only missed one or two. Uh, uh, Jalen needs to shoot it more consistent consistently. But we've actually our starters have been pretty good free throw shooters in league play, uh, at least based on what I can recall. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Coach.